We rolling? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. We are back. I didn't want to take a whole bunch of time and explain to you where I've been, what I've been doing for the past six months. Maybe we can save that for another time, but I wanted to just dive right back into this head first. We're going to start with a review. I'm really excited about this review. Before I get into exactly what the fragrance is, I'm going to show you my unboxing of this fragrance. When it came in a few weeks ago, I recorded it live. You'll get my first impressions of the fragrance there. And then I'll come back and tell you guys what I ultimately think about this new fragrance. Let's stop wasting time. See you guys in a minute. We're gonna do an unboxing of a fragrance that was just sent to me from uh, the very spirited and whimsical perfumery of Etat Libre d'Orange. My French is terrible, so please excuse the pronunciation. But they sent me their newest fragrance, which you may have already heard about. It is called Le Fleur du Déchet, or I Am Trash. And Le Fleur du Déchet actually translates to the flowers of the waste, which is beautiful. And, and this is their whole uh, foundation for this fragrance. In fact, they have a, a, um, a slogan that they're using with the fragrance that is the most wanted scent made from the unwanted. They're trying to shed beauty on the things that people don't want and reusing them to create something beautiful. There's a whole lot more to this fragrance in terms of the background and the backstory. It's on their website. I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, I would read it here, but we're, we would just take a lot of time. So definitely check it out if you can. Google the fragrance. You'll easily find the description. Fragrance just came out this year, 2018. It was composed by Daniela Roche Andrier, who works with Givadan, who was involved with creating this fragrance. And she, if you don't know, is a legend when it comes to perfumery and, and her creations. I believe she has done a lot of work for Prada. Bottega Veneta, which she's done the Pour Homme uh, series, which is a beautiful series of fragrances if you didn't already know. So anyway, I'm going to open up this box. I haven't seen the notes yet. I uh, tried not to look at them so as to not taint my view at all, just to not expect or anticipate to smell anything in particular because this fragrance is really intriguing to me. I, I guess there's something called an upcycling process that they use to extract or at least create most of these ingredients. Maybe extract would be the better way to put it. I'm rambling, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it smells like. I'm actually not sure if they sent me a sample or a full bottle, I would imagine by the size of this box that it is a full bottle. Unless they just wanted to send it in a big box, but we're going to pop it open. I might fast forward through this, I might not. If I fast forward through it, that'll start. As you can see, I am trash. Le Fleur du Déchet, which again, flowers of the waste, 100 mil. I never even thought I would even try this fragrance when I heard it was coming out because I just didn't have access to it. And I'll show you guys this presentation since we have it to show. Oh, I just love this box. Man, the detailing on this is fantastic. We got the uh, branding there on the top. All right. Here we go, open it up. And inside, very simply sits this beautiful bottle. And look at this labeling work here. I am trash, le feu de déchet. Man, I'm just, yeah, I'm kind of 
giddy right now. Oh, I love this on the back here. This great detailing. I'm really giddy because again, I've never owned a fragrance from this brand. I've only smelled Remarkable People and I really enjoyed that one. I've actually smelled uh, maybe a couple more in the store that were pretty good, uh, but Remarkable People I really like. We'll remove the cap, nice heavy cap. So let's spray it on. All fragrance is wearable as they say. Okay, I'll let it waft a little bit. Okay, right off the bat I'm getting apple. Oh, that's gorgeous. And there's rose in here too, for sure. This is, this is beautiful. Let's move the bottle here. I'm gonna zoom in on it so you guys can admire it even more. There's the bottle. Okay, I smell apple. I think I smell some kind of citrus. And I definitely smell rose. It's pretty floral, but the rose is not screaming. It's rich. It's kind of dense, but it's sweet and a little fruity. Let's look at the notes. They list the notes as apple essence upcycling, rose absolute upcycling, cedarwood atlas upcycling, bitter orange, gari get strawberry. I'm not sure if that's everything. I feel like there's more to it than that. I have it open here on Fragrantica as well. Um, that is our... Oh, ISO E Super, apparently. Maybe that's the case. We have our Atlas Cedar. Akigala wood, apparently, according to Fragrantica. Sandalwood. And we have Rose and Apple. This smells, again, sweet. A little rosy. I definitely get that bitter orange. Adding a touch of a zing to it. There's some core to this fragrance. It has some density to it. It's fairly aromatic, but again, like I said, kind of dense. So again, these are just my first impressions. At first impressions, this fragrance is definitely unisex to me. I can see a lot of people really enjoying this. So, so I'll have to see how it performs. I really don't know. I'm really thrilled to have this fragrance. I want to know more about how it was made and the process of upcycling. Once again, I'm so thankful to uh, Etat Libre d'Orange, as well as your perfumes who sent me this fragrance. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Okay, hope you enjoyed my first impressions of this wonderful fragrance, which I've been getting to know. Sorry for the glare. Uh, man, this is a gorgeous scent. I'm really happy I have this. I've been spending some time with it over the past few weeks and have basically compiled my final thoughts on this fragrance. So, and spending more time with just understanding the process, once again, the upcycling process of fragrances is, let me put this down before I drop it. Uh, upcycling process of fragrances is basically taking waste material or unwanted, you know, material and basically finding a creative reuse of it and turning it into products of better quality, or that have better environmental value. So that's the process of upcycling from what I could understand. Now let's get into this scent. Now the notes of this fragrance, we have apple, we have bitter orange, we have strawberry, rose, sandalwood, cedar. I believe that's it. Fragrantica claims that there's ISO E Super in this fragrance that's not on the official website note breakdown. So I can't really confirm or deny if that's true. One thing I love about this fragrance is the bitter orange note. It doesn't scream, you can definitely get the nuance of citrus, but it's so well blended with the fruits in this fragrance that it really just adds this sparkling quality <laughs> to the fragrance, to that fruity sweetness, to the juiciness. It's just a little bit of zest on top, but it doesn't scream as orange, you know what I mean? And I love that nuance about this. Keeps it very bright and uplifting. Now the rose note, does ultimately get a little bit jammy, but it's never too loud. It's never up front. It's really well blended and it allows the fruits to really shine. And I do think that the woods in the base are sandalwood or cedar wood. They keep the fragrance from being too soft and fruity and floral. They really do help to ground it a bit, which I think does kind of slide it into the unisex territory on the scale. Nothing wrong with wearing a fruity floral as a male, nothing wrong with that, but at least for me and my taste, this does make it easier for me to pull this off, especially into the dry down 
when that woodiness does make itself more apparent. Overall, I'll say that the scent itself is fruity and woody with a touch of rose. And again, made a little bit bright by the bitter orange in the opening. Now, in terms of the upcycling process, I can't really, I don't know if you can hear Penny having a great time back there. <laughs> um, in terms of the process, I can't really say if, if I detect a real difference in quality or just in the scent itself because of the process versus using a regular process to extract oils and basically compose the fragrance from those oils. But I can say that the fragrance does smell very natural. So I would only imagine that these ingredients are of the utmost naturalness. That's a word? Yep. We'll see. We'll fact check that one. Now, the performance on this fragrance, ultimately, it's an eau de parfum and it performs like one. It's very elegant. It's gonna last on the skin at least eight hours, which is commendable for an eau de parfum. I don't ask for more than that. That's basically a day's wearing. And the projection is gonna be pretty detectable within the first one to two hours. You're gonna really detect it around you, especially in the air. And after that, it's gonna create just a nice intimate scent bubble around you for the remainder of its life on the skin. Really, really nice. It doesn't scream. I'm so glad it doesn't because sweet, fruity, floral, screaming into your environment, at least for me, is something I'm not into. So I'm glad that it remains a little bit closer to the skin. Again, retains a subtlety and an elegance as a result. I think this fragrance is great basically for all year round use. The scent character lends itself more to maybe the spring and the summer, but again, that woody nature, I think does help it smell great in the fall as well. In fact, I've been getting quite a bit of use of it in the autumn here. I don't think you're gonna smell this very well in the cold air. It's just not gonna really be detectable, but you're welcome to wear it anyway. You know, it's not gonna offend anyone. So ultimately, those are my thoughts on I Am Trash, Le Fleu du Déchet, with a terrible French pronunciation for me. I apologize for that, but I am thankful to Euro Perfumes and Etat Libre de Range for sending me this bottle as a gift Again, I was so surprised to receive a full bottle. I thought it was just gonna be a sample. And I can't wait to get some more use out of this fragrance. Anyway, this video might be a little bit long, but I appreciate you guys tuning in nonetheless. I guess this is my comeback video. I already have quite a few other videos planned, even filmed and edited. So I will be putting out content pretty shortly. I can't say that I'm gonna be putting out videos every week at this point. I'm kinda of easing my way in in terms of how often I'm uploading, so I can't promise you a video every week. But as soon as I know what the schedule is gonna look like, I'll let you guys know and we'll be off and running from there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you guys.